Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, it's still Saturday, so we're gonna continue with Scentsy Saturday. And because I have right here the full collection of the Bring Back My Bar. It's early, I didn't think it was gonna come until Monday, but it's here today, so let's dive in. And uh, you can make your list. And these will be available until February the 2nd. And I have my iPad right here, so we're gonna be looking at scent descriptions as well. I did not unload the box there. I did not put them in alphabetical order, so we're just gonna pick and choose. And I will be looking up the scent description right here. The first one is Mad About Mint. It is a green wax. And again, I've not, I just opened the box a short time ago. I've not sniffed anything. So these will be first sniffs. So, Mad About Mint, an icy cold blast of mint, spicy peppermint, refreshing spearmint, and frosted wintergreen. And uh, I did say when I kind of did the walkthrough um, before I got these that I'm not a huge fan of spearmint and wax. So let's see what we get here. We definitely get spearmint. Spearmint actually is the first scent note that's coming out at me. It smells just like spearmint gum. Okay, so if you like spearmint, it's okay. I, you know, I'm not right now getting peppermint or wintergreen, but I'm definitely getting spearmint all the way. So we will uh, see how that goes in the world. I mean, I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. The next one is Crisp Orchard Air. And uh, this is an, oops, sorry. This is a red wax, or kind of like a brownish red wax. Elegant Quince Jam, Crisp Green Apple, and Sandalwood. I'm getting sandalwood first and the quince jam. Not getting any green apple right now, but uh, that's actually nice. I'm not a huge fan of sandalwood, but I do like that one. Uh, next we have luscious lemon and this is light creamy lemon, nothing else. Oh, wow, this is good. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in my bring back my bar. I love lemon scents. And this exactly, it's a creamy lemon. It's not a cleaner lemon. It's not a stringent lemon. It's not lemon and mint. It is a creamy lemon. That is very good. If you're a lemon person, uh, yes to that. Um, this is Ice Hotel. So far, all of these are new to me. And I'm new to Scentsy within the last like eight months or so. So I don't know, some of these I've recognized that I've had before, but I don't know if they're like, they go back generations of iterate, you know, uh, Scentsy, bring back my bar. Okay, Ice Hotel, sorry, chit chat. Surround yourself with crystalline ice and pure white snow as you breathe in a cool, magical fragrance of blue mint, Arctic pine, and winter citrus. citrus. That sounds very good. And it is. I'm getting, hmm. I'm not really getting anything jumping out individually right now. Oh, wait, now I kind of get, I'm getting a little bit of pine. It's very nice. It's definitely cool, magical, whatever magical is, uh, cool, crisp. I guess I'm getting the mint and pine mixed together, but they're not, they're blended. You know, that one is not competing over the other. So that's a yes. This is frosted white birch, and this is a light dove gray wax. This is a cool breeze of peppermint, sorry, a cool breeze of peppermint frost, eucalyptus and lavender gently warms to blonde woods, fir needle and amber. There's that amber word. Oh, this is lovely. This is really nice. Uh, Cause lavender can kind of be a turn off for me too. I am getting Wow, that is really nice. I have to say, again, it is a well-blended uh, scent. I am getting a little bit of a woodsy note, a little bit of a lavender note. Like lavender woods is what I'm getting right now. That's beautiful. My Scentsy Club is going to be that I, this, 
This and the luscious, or the, whatever it is, the luscious lemon are my favorites. This is a beautiful, this is going to be nice in the bathroom, in the bedroom. I love that. I love that. I'm so glad I went ahead and got the whole kit. I'm so glad. Uh, my balance, my uh, my money balance might not like it. But anyhow, uh, rosemary mint is soothing mint and tea tree cool over soft vitalizing rosemary. This is funny. Haha, <laughs> funny. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was going to say I got spearmint out of this. It's definitely, I'm getting the tea tree. You know, tea tree can be very astringent. Like tea tree shampoo is really all, the only experience I have with tea tree is tea tree shampoo. So I'm, I'm not, you know, an aficionado on tea tree. However, that's what this smells like. Um, like, uh, what's the stuff in the green bottle? The tea tree. I think it's just called tea tree something, whatever. That's what that smells like. The next one is plumeria. Oh, oh, I, I expected a pink wax, but it's not. It's kind of like a cream colored wax. Plumeria is Hawaiian plumeria and night scented jasmine mingled with succulent pear. Oh, this is pretty. This is very pretty. It, it is floral, it's definitely floral, but it's not a heady floral, it's not too strong. It is a light floral. I'm not getting any pear right now, but I am getting a nice light plumeria slash jasmine floral. Very pretty. I'm not a huge floral person, but I could do that one. The next one is redwood and cedar. This is a reddish brown wax. This is a fresh scent with texture and warmth reminiscent of a cedar closet. Kinda. I am getting a wood note. I guess, I guess that's cedar. Yeah, that's, I guess that's cedar. It's, it's definitely woodsy. I'm not sure where exactly I would melt this. So if you have any suggestions, like, I don't have any walk-in closets. I don't know. Okay, next is Blue Christmas. And this was a brick last year, which I did not get, and I regretted it, but now I can have it again. Or not, not again, I can have it. This is holiday fragrance of orange peels, clove, fir needles, and cinnamon sticks. All Christmas scents that I love. Oh yeah, yes, yes, yes. This is really, really nice. So probably we'll put some of these in um, our Scentsy Saturday. Um, and if anybody picks this, probably I will only melt two cubes and I will save the rest till Christmas. Just putting a disclaimer out there. This is gorgeous. This is Christmas, another one of typical, you know, I wouldn't say that it's, you know, mind blowing, original, you know, anything like that, but it is Christmas, it's very nice. I love the clove in here. I can definitely smell the clove. The clove and the fur is what kicks out to me. That's a yes. Let's keep going, gonna speed this up a little bit. Apple press, red wax. This is the smell of crisp, crisp fall days, crunchy apples, juicy pears, and just a hint of the last full roses of the summer. So this is a fruity floral. Oh, that is very nice. Man, Sensi's really hitting it. Um, I'm sure there'll be one here I don't like. I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna like them all, but you know, I'm just, they, they're that good. It just happened to be that good. I'm definitely getting the apples and a floral. Not really getting any pear, but that is very nice. That is very nice. Oh my goodness. Okay, keep going. Whiteout is, uh, I have had this before and I do like it. Um, where are you, Whiteout? Whiteout is exhilarating blend of cool peppermint and sweet golden apple blanketed over frosty pine. As a matter of fact, um, Whiteout... I think we just did white out very recently in Sensi Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. And I could be because my mind is not what it used to be. 
Yes, yeah, this is really, really good. I really like this one. Definitely peppermint, like cool, refreshing peppermint and pine. Uh, I don't get any apple right now. And I can't remember if I got any on warm or not. I don't know. Uh, orange Dreamsicle. This was one I was really looking forward to because I do happen to love orange Dreamsicles. And this is a classic combination of fresh orange swirled with vanilla cream. Oh, yeah, this is really good. I know I sounds like I love them all, but I do. This, and I remember um, posting when I posted the walkthrough or the talk through that I thought that the orange dreamsicles were the ones on the blue plastic stick and had like soldiers on the stick or something like that. But then I was reminded that no, that was something else. And the dream skull was something else. I can't remember now. I can't remember how it goes. But this is nice. Yes. I can't decide which one I'm going to first. Oh my goodness, they're all so good. Okay, uh, African Mahogany. Now, uh, I mentioned in that first video that my, I'm not a fan of mahogany. Kind of makes me sweat. I get all nervous and I think of Bath and Body Works uh, Mahogany Teakwood, which is nauseating. But somebody said, whoa, your roll. Uh, just give this one a chance. So this is a, crisp, a crisp fragrance combining precious woods with musk and amber. So... Uh, okay, it's not as bad as I thought. Okay, I'll give it that. Um, actually, it is kind of nice. I can't say that I hate it because I don't. I'm getting, I'm getting woods and I am getting a musky note, but it's not overpowering. It's not stinky musk. It's not Dirty Yahoo Musk is actually kind of nice. Uh, I'm not getting a whole lot of amber. Maybe I get a, a whiff of amber in the background, but um, that might be an okay one. We'll see what happens when it hits the warmer. Hopefully uh, it doesn't get any stronger than that. It's right now it's like a medium on cold, which really means nothing when it's warmed, but I, could do, I, can, I can live with that. This one is Wassel. And Wassel is a Christmas drink. Fruity bouquet of tangy oranges, apples, and mulling spices. Orange, I'm getting orange, or citrus, yeah. I'm getting orange and spices. Not overbearing spices, I would say I'm getting more of the citrus. Um, maybe a little bit of apple in there mixed with it because that's really toning down the spices. That's very good as well. Okay, no, I feel we're not getting close to the end yet. Okay, let's go a little faster, sorry. Rainforest, green. Uh, rainforest is amber and soft musk combined with earthy fern, crisp citrus, and fresh, barely ripe berries. Oof. What am I getting? I'm getting uh, the green earthy fern. That's what I'm getting first. And a little hint of either amber or musk in the background, a warm note, something, a little bit of a warmth, but I'm getting the fern first. The next one is pistachio ice cream. Not a fan of pistachio anything except to eat them. Uh, pistachio cream and coconut garnish vanilla meringue. Mm -hmm. Pistachio slash almond scents are not my favorite. And I, if I see something, if I'm ordering something from anybody, if it has pistachio, I'm not going to order it. I don't think I have anything in my stash that's pistachio. pistachio. Um, yeah, I'm getting that... Um, I don't know what pistachio, like pistachio slash, I don't know, cherry or almond or something in that nature, in that family. Uh, I, I'm not getting, I'm not getting coconut, but I'm getting like a vanilla creamy pistachio. 
which I guess would be pistachio ice cream. Uh, not a favorite, so I will warm that and see what happens. Uh, perfect oatmeal is a glorious way to wake up. Brown sugar oatmeal topped with toasted almonds and dotted with juicy dark currants. The other oatmeal one I love is, I think it's called honey and oats, and I love that one a lot. Um, this one is okay. If I had to pick oatmeals, I would pick honey and honey and oats over this one. What am I? This one isn't as warm and the other one is almost like oatmeal cookies. It's really good. This one, I think it's the almonds that are throwing me off. I'm getting kind of like a nutty something or other. It's okay. I like the other one better. Okay, what's left? There's still quite a bit left. Okay. Alrighty, let's see. Tahitian black currant. This is the one of the ones I was looking forward to. Um, let's see. What did I say? Tahitian black orchid. Did I say orchid? I don't know. A seductive tapestry of black orchid, dark plum, coconut milk, and white rose weaves a mysterious tale full of sweet surprises. So this really sounded interesting to me. It's light. It's light. Hey, Stellar. I'm getting coconut milk and plum I can't really say I'm getting orchid or right white rose right now so I do like it um I wish on on, on cold sniff it's light so I hope it gets stronger when it hits the the heat and I hope all those notes come out because I was really really looking forward to that one sugar and spice uh, is treat yourself to sorry, bleh, treat yourself as a crunchy candy coating gives way to black licorice. Treat yourself as a crunchy candy coating gives way to a black licorice filling, spicy, herbal, and sweet. That was a tongue twister. Oh, that's black licorice. That is definitely black licorice. I've never had anything black licorice. In, in wax. Uh, I'm definitely getting something else back there. An herbal note behind the black licorice, but that is definitely black licorice without a doubt. If you like black licorice scents, sugar and spice. This one is spiced berries. And let's see. Uh, frankincense and myrrh waft beneath decadent berries to create a timeless scent. Oh, that's very interesting. Um, and frankincense and myrrh, again, not a whole lot of experience with that in wax. Um, I did have something from somebody a long time ago, but this is very nice. It's almost, frankincense and myrrh, it's reading a little bit, like a little bit incense -y. not too much, but definitely I'm getting that, you know, spicy, patchouli, incense -y vibe first light on the berries right now that is super nice as well my god okay i can't love them all but actually i i love a lot of them okay this is sunny and share yellow wax a sunny shore washed clean by a spring shower soft sea air golden citrus and dewy driftwood scattered with white beach daisies uh watch your tail missy This is fresh. If you're a freshie, you will love this. Very fresh. I know exactly who will of one of my customers here in town that would like that. Okay, soft sea air. Yes, driftwood, yes. A light floral, golden citrus I'm not smelling. But definitely sea air and driftwood on this one. I like this one better than what was the name of the lighthouse? Was that in August? And the scent of the month for that one? 
was it driftwood? I don't know, I can't remember. But anyway, I like this one better than that one. That is also beautiful. Uh, Rustic Lodge is like dark army green kind of. Warm fragrance of cedar, oak, and musk with traces of wood smoke and fallen leaves. Oh, that's really nice. I'm definitely getting the wood smoke. Um, it's actually, I just got a picture. Uh, when I was a kid, we used to go camping in Mactaquac in New Brunswick. Every single weekend, rain or shine, we camped. We had like, we started like with a little pop-up tailor and then we trailer and then we got one with the little pullouts and then we had a hard top thing and we loved it. Uh, but anyway, I don't, this, th this has popped into my head, those memories. I don't know why, but. I guess sitting around the campfire, making a camp with when your kids, I'm not, but it's not like marshmallow fireside. It's not, there's no sweet, there's no creamy, there's no marshmallow, but I'm definitely getting the wood smoke in this one. That's nice. That's very nice. Like, like if you had your fireplace going in the evening or on a rainy day, this is what I would put in on those days. I have a fake fireplace, but I will still melt that. Hawaiian Paradise. This sounds tropical fruity to me, which is not in my wheelhouse at all. Uh, this is a buffet of Hawaiian fruits, pineapple, banana, mango, papaya, and coconut. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. No sorry, Bob. Um, I mean, it is strong. I'm definitely getting, I'm getting the pineapple first. Predominantly pineapple. I'm not getting any mango right now. I mean, um, I'm not getting banana. I'm getting lots and lots of pineapple. And pineapple, juicy fruity, tropical fruity, is just not something that I melt. But if you like tropical scents, this uh, definitely would be in your wheelhouse. Bananarama. This one I'm most curious about. Um, the scent notes just say sweet, golden, ripe bananas. It doesn't say anything about banana bread, and I'm always looking for a good banana bread. Right now, Destination Wax has a really good one. They're my favorite. I probably shouldn't talk about that right now, but. Mm -mm, nope. This is like just taffy banana, candy banana, whatever you want to call it. And that's not also in my wheelhouse. But if you like taffy banana, that's it, without a doubt. And finally, Amber Road, oh my gosh, 23 minutes. Amber Road is open a box of treasure handpicked from exotic lands to discover glowing red cedar and resinous incense. Hmm, not sure about this one either. I mean, that's pretty good, you guys. Out of whatever here is in here, like 26 or something, there's really only two or three that I'm not. Um, the name is Amber. There's no Amber in the scent description. I'm actually getting red cedar like I did the other one. This smells like a cedar closet to me with a little bit of incense, but I'm getting the red cedar first. It's okay, another one that I don't love, but it's okay. Wow, so that's everything. So um, I love just about all, I, I at least like almost all of it. As I said, there's three maybe there that I don't really love or even like, but for the rest of them, I'm loving, if not liking all of them, or the rest of all of them. But anyhow, so uh, as again, um, I'll leave my uh, Scentsy webpage down below. They're gonna be available until February the 2nd. Um, if there's some here that you like, uh, bundle them up and save. Uh, also January is 10% off, so this is a good time to bundle. Or like me, there's a couple here that I will be adding to my Scentsy Club, along with some of the discontinued scents that will be going in my Scentsy Club as well. So. Um, currently my Scentsy Club has one six pack, but I know it's going to be t at least two six packs in there now. And I, I was trying not to, I'm trying to keep it, eh, eh, eh. but I can maybe pull a few out, but there's some that I'm not going to pull out. But anyway, so that is it. First sniff, Spring Back My Bar, available until August the 2nd. That's the 2nd, yes. 
And uh, so um, I hope this was helpful in you making your lists. And maybe if you have the same kind of scent taste as I do, this might be helpful for you as well. So make your list, get to shopping. And um, I think we're done now for Scentsy Saturday. This is my third Scentsy video today. And so we'll, we're good now. So um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. I will see you soon. Bye.